الواحد لا بحسن يطلع لبرا لا بحسن راضي مثلا بدي انا ما بحسن بجيبها ولا بحسن بجيب شيء الفرق كثير كبير الفرق اولي كنا مرتاحين قاعدين ببيوتنا نقعد نتهرج على كيفنا اما هالحسين وين نقعد انا وبي كمان ثاني وقت اثنين اخوات كمان ما بحسن يمشي ما بحسن يمشي وكم معاناه يعني كل شيء يعني كل شيء بدك اياه يعني مو مليح نحن عم عم نعانيه المخيم يعني كم عايش في شيء زين جانا الظرف حاب هيك اخر شيء كنا نسكر على حالنا بالبيوت ونقعد نسكر person in sight. Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. It, it used to be a fun place to come to up here. They can have this place right here. Hey, do you see did you see that that tree right there? Yeah. Did you see that tree right there? Roll will hang you from that tree. You kicked him! 
ነበር ቢሽ ለገሶ ቢላው ቢሽ ኮፍት እና ተበረታ ቢላ ሀደ አፍሪካ ቢኩት ቢሽ ሀደሪ ቢና ኮራስ ማለት ነው ዞ ዘይዳ ካና ሱ ቢማና ያዲያ ተፍር ሆራ ነክተራ ቢበረሊ ኦበሪ ለባ ትሪ ከሃላበ my career as a 12-time NCAA All-American, a five-time SEC champion. Um, I am one of the fastest 200 butterflyers of, of all time. Um, but on March 17th of last year, my teammates and I were, and other female swimmers from universities around the country were forced to compete against a biological male named Leah Thomas. We watched on the side of the pool as Thomas won a national title in the 500-yard freestyle, beating out the most impressive and accomplished female athletes in the country. Whereas just the year before, Thomas at best was ranking in the 400s in the men's category. In 1972, Congress enacted Title IX to end unjust sex discrimination in all aspects of education, including college athletics. But by allowing Thomas to displace female athletes in the pool and on the podium, the NCAA intentionally and explicitly discriminated on the basis of sex. Although the NCAA claimed it acted in the name of inclusion, its policies in fact, in fact excluded female athletes. But that is not all. In addition to being forced to give up our awards, our titles, not opportunities, the NCAA forced female swimmers to share a locker room with Thomas, a 6'4", 22-year-old male who was fully intact with male genitalia. The number of female athletes who have been denied opportunities, again traumatized or hurt by policies that claim to be promoting inclusion, is growing at an alarming rate around this country. It's simply unacceptable and the integrity of women's sports Daddy. is lost. Good. 
Go, go, go. Ah. Mm.